What's up, you guys? Yep, I'm on the way to work, and I'm tired, too. I've been working a lot of hours. You know, you gotta pay them bills. But I'm making this video this morning to let you guys know that I had a weird dream last night. And I ain't talking about, you know, just a little weird to where you wake up, you be like, oh, nah, that was just a dream. I'm talking about weird to where my dream got me thinking about some stuff. <laughs> So, the dream was about me being on the cruise. And I. Th this is my first dream that I had about me being on a cruise ever since I left the cruise the other time. And they said that, I'm turn, trying to turn this heat up. I mean, trying to turn this heater down. It's kind of warm up in my car. But yeah, they said that after you get off the cruise, you're going to be having a lot of dreams about it. They said that it's perfectly normal, but this is actually my first dream that I had about the cruise. So anyway... I was on a cruise in a dream and you know I don't know where we were going but I was on the water in the middle of the ocean because I was on a cruise of course and the next thing I know I had walked outside to the dock of the ship and when I got outside I saw my car sitting there and I don't know why my car was sitting there and uh, I had to go to the stove so I said oh man I gotta go to the stove you know because I was running out of snacks because last night I wanted to go to Kroger's, but Kroger's was already closed by the time I got out of the birthday party because I went to my homeboy birthday party last night. So by the time I got out of the birthday party, which was at almost at midnight, Kroger's was closed. So I didn't have no snacks at all, so I had to stop at a gas station. So I had to go to bed without eating snacks, and I usually eat a few snacks before I go to bed. So in the dream, I was craving snacks, and so I had to go to the stove in my car in the dream to get some snacks mind you i'm on the ship so now that i'm thinking about it i'm thinking to myself why didn't i just order room service because they do have room service on the ship why didn't i just order room service but in a dream i wasn't thinking about that because in dreams you don't really think about things that you'll think about in real life so i said well let me get in my car <laughs> and go over to the store and get some snacks so I'm driving in my car, right guys? Y'all gotta pay attention to this. I'm driving in my car to the store on the ship. And how the hell am I driving on the ship if we in the middle of the ocean? But in a dream, when I got in my car, there was no water. So I don't know how I drove off of the ship onto the road. Mind you, we supposed to be in the middle of the ocean. But once I got off the ship, it was nothing but road which is weird. <laughs> so I'm driving, trying to find a grocery store to go buy some snacks. And next thing you know, I thought to myself, I said, well, let me go to Family Dollar because I always get my snacks from Family Dollar. I usually get my snacks from Family Dollar and from Kroger's, but most of the time, I always stop at a Family Dollar and get my snacks because I know where everything's at at Family Dollar. And Family Dollar, they have a bigger variety of snacks. And this boy just ran in the middle of the street while cars coming stupid anyway let me get back to the story well dream so i say well let me go over to family dollar let me try to find a family dollar i didn't know what family dollar was at so i'm just driving and driving and driving and the next thing you know i saw this little corner stone but it looked like a house and i saw two cars in the middle of the driveway i said well this looks like a store you know, it looked like a corner store. So let me get out the car and see if they open because this was, it was nighttime. So I said, well, let me go and get out the car. Let me see if these people open. So I get out my car and I knock on the door and I see my cousin sitting on the couch inside of the corner store. And then the next thing you know, it, it turned out to be a house. So she was sitting on the couch talking to these big ladies. And I'm like, what is she doing here? So I had got my cousin I really want to say her real name, but I don't know how she going to feel about it. I think I'm going to tag her in this video. <laughs> you know what? I don't want to say your real name, but I'm going to tag you in this video. I'm going to let you know that it was about you. But I'm going to just make up a name because I don't want everybody to know that I was dreaming about you. I'm going to call her Tammy. So I saw my cousin Tammy sitting on the couch talking to these ladies. And so I knocked on the door. They had like a screen door where you could see inside of the house. So I knocked on the door. I said, excuse me, are you guys open? How are they going to be closed if it's a house? Or how are they going to be open if it's a house? But in a dream, I wasn't thinking about that. So I knocked on the door. I said, are you guys still open? They said, yeah, baby, come on in. 
<laughs> so, so I opened up the door and I asked my cousin, I said, what you doing up in here? And she said, oh, I'm just talking. These, these your cousins, Charles. You never met them before. They from Mississippi. So the two ladies turned out to be my cousins from Mississippi. And I don't even have any family members from Mississippi. But my cousin have family members from Mississippi. Not this cousin that I'm talking about that was in a dream. But my other cousin actually have cousins from Mississippi. So I'm like, I have cousins from Mississippi. So I'm talking to them. And then my cousin Tammy said, yeah, they know George. You know George, y'all grew up together. Y'all used to ride bikes together. I said, oh yeah. I don't know who the hell George was, but in a dream, I knew who George was. I said, oh yeah, me and George used to always ride bikes around the neighborhood together. So I don't know, this is weird. It was a weird dream. And so I was asking him, I said, well, I'm a little tired because I was a little tipsy because I was drinking at my friend's birthday party last night in real life. So in a dream, I guess I was still at the birthday party even though I was on a cruise in a dream, which is weird. So I, I was feeling a little tipsy. And I say, yeah, I'm a little tipsy, you know, and I got to pee. But I'm trying to find some snacks before I go home. Because how the hell am I going to go home if I'm on a cruise in a dream? So I said, yeah, I'm trying to find some snacks. And I was wondering if y'all had some snacks I can buy. And then the lady, she said, oh, yeah, baby, we got some snacks. Look around. She had everything up in that house or corner store, whatever it was. She had everything up in there. She had Snickers, hot Cheetos, hot fries, pork rinds. She had a little bit of everything. So I'm trying to see what I want. I'm trying to find the prices, and I couldn't see the prices. So I'm asking the lady. I said, yeah, how much is it for these pork rinds? And how much is it for this Snicker bar? And then before you know it, I had to pee real bad. I said, oh, I got to pee because I've been drinking. But I don't know if I was drinking a dream, but I was drinking last night in real life before I went to bed. So that's probably why I had to dream. But in real life, I did have to pee because when I woke up from the dream, I had to run to the restroom and pee. But let me get back to the story. So I said, yeah, I got to pee real bad. I said, excuse me, do y'all have a restroom in here? I said, yeah, baby, right there, right next to the front door where you came in, the bathroom right there. Now, why do y'all have a bathroom next to the front door? So I didn't ask no questions. So I said, oh, okay, because I got to pee real bad. So I went up in there to try to pee. So I closed the door, and then I started peeing. And next thing you know, the toilet disappears in the bathroom. How the hell do the toilet disappear? So I didn't want to pee on the floor. Come on, car. Come on, pay attention. Come on, stupid, stupid. You just sitting there. I'm telling you to come on. Anyway, let me get to the story. These people act like they can't drive. I'm telling him to come on. He just sitting there like a dummy. Anyway, the toilet just disappears. So I'm like, how the hell did the toilet disappear? So I didn't want to pee on the floor. So, because <laughs> if I peed on the floor, they probably would have been mad at me. But it's not my fault that the toilet disappeared. So I'm trying to stop the pee from coming out. And so next thing you know, I run out the bathroom holding my you know what <laughs> i was holding you know my you know what to stop the pee from coming out so i went out the bathroom and then i said excuse me excuse me the toilet y'all toilet disappeared excuse me ma'am the toilet disappeared in the bathroom and i don't want to pee on the floor let me go outside and pee because i don't want to pee on the floor and they saw everything i'm telling you they saw my business when i was running out the bathroom because i didn't want to pee on the floor i said well let me go outside to try to pee <laughs> So the lady gets mad because I went outside and I peed on the tree because she had a big old tree. Come on, let me over, people. Oh, these people can't drive. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Look at this big old bus. He just cut in front of me and see I was trying to get over. He just gonna speed up. I should report you, idiot. Anyway, <sighs> where was I at? This is, I keep getting distracted. Oh, this sun all in my face. So anyway, I peed outside. They had a tree next to the front, next to the door where you enter the house. So I went outside to pee. And then next thing you know, the lady gets mad and say, yeah, you need to get out. You need to leave, sir. Before I call the police, I'm like, why are you going to call the police on me? What did I do? She said, because you peed on my plants. <laughs> 
I said, well, lady, it's not my fault that your toilet disappeared in the bathroom. Would you rather me pee outside on your plants on the tree or just pee on your floor in the bathroom? Now make your choice. So she get an attitude with me. So she gonna cuss me out. And I cuss the back out. You don't cuss me out. So I'm arguing back and forth. Next thing you know, her husband comes out with a gun. I said, oh, snap. <laughs> I said, I'm about to get shot and killed up in these people's house. And then uh, I'm talking to my cousin. I said, Tammy, you not going to help me? She said, oh, no, because you shouldn't have peed on the plants. <laughs> so Tammy just left me stuck out. So her husband talking about, you talking to my wife like that? You talking to my wife like that? I'll bust a cap in your ass. <laughs> so I'm trying to run out, out So I run out the house I'm scared I'm about to get shot I'm trying to find my car Next thing you know the ship passes by me And I see my car on the dock How do the ship pass by me If I'm in the middle of the road You know mind you when I drove off of the dock I was on the road and there was no water But then I see the ship pass by So I'm like uh Okay there goes my car So I'm trying I'm running after the ship and then the husband is chasing after me with his gun trying to kill me. Like, literally, I almost died in this dream. And then next thing you know, when he was about to shoot, I ducked. So I ducked down, and then he shot the ship. He shot all of the windows on the ship. And I'm like, uh-oh. And then the next thing you know, after he shot all the windows on the ship, the ship started blowing the horn saying, beep, beep, beep. And then the ship blew up. I was like, oh. My car was on that ship, and you just blew up my car. <laughs> and you probably blew up everybody else on the ship, too. So I'm trying to run for my life, and then I run into this forest. <laughs> I don't know where I was going, but I'm trying to run. And then as I'm running through the forest, all I hear is gunshots going pew, pew, pew. And then the trees falling down. He's shooting trees. I'm like, please don't shoot me. I'm scared out of my life. Next thing you know, I woke up shaking in a cold sweat then i had to go to the bathroom because i really did have to pee i'm surprised i didn't pee on myself while i was peeing in the dream but anyway i just decided to share this dream with you guys because the dream was weird it was a weird dream don't know why i had that dream but i hope nothing like this happened in real life and they say dreams are supposed to tell you things but what is this dream trying to tell me? I, if you guys know anything about dreams, if y'all are dream experts or dreamologists or whatever they call it, let me know what this dream means because I'm clueless. <laughs> well, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in for this video. And I'm almost at work now, so I'm going to have to put up the... I'm going to have to end the video on that note. But just let me know what you guys think in the comments below because that dream was weird. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a nice day. Peace out.